One owner car guy. One owner car guy dog. Hope you can hear me. It's very, very windy. And I actually don't know which way to point my head to where the microphone doesn't catch the wind. Maybe this will help me. I don't know. We'll like do a test on the way of the truck to where I can learn because on the way on the auction video I just did, I noticed that's him. God dang it, that is him. Almost guaranteed that's my transporter. I'm out here to get transport ready. Hopefully you don't see me. Because I'm not ready. I haven't been ready. I never claimed to be ready. And yet here this guy is. Thinking I'm ready. Does that make sense? Not really. But it's what's going on. And I believe I've got a, a side post car here. I can't give him my red top out of my truck. That's all I've got, I think. This thing's very clean. Okay. So, side post. That probably has one. I should have one in here. So I should have three in here. But I don't. My last chance is the one in the Aurora. I'm gonna get my keys and just see if it starts, I think. That's the one that came out, man. These are two batteries that are no good. I'm almost positive. <laughs> Who? Germany. You know, I don't know what they use. They're not on metric. They're, they're the half ones. <laughs> German, all their cars come with metric. They're the half ones. 4.5, 8.5, Could be. They are, dude. I don't know who the Starhead guys are. Uh, stuff like that. I don't know who them Starhead guys are, but I don't like them. Oh, the Torx? Yeah, yeah. fuck that. Mm -hmm. Those are mainly for, uh, like, decking, wood decking and stuff. They use them quite a bit on, like, car seat belts and... Oh, uh, the little... They call yeah, them just, a 5.2, they have. Uh, They're good girls. Hey, now a nickel. A nickel is a whole different story, Mario. I'm gonna call this good. I'm gonna keep that for future use. And I'm gonna get this thing over to this guy. I'm actually gonna go look and see how much of a of a leak was underneath where it was. You know, for me on these kinds of trucks, it's not so much what's wrong with them. I get people that watch my videos. Oh, you say that's a nice truck. It can't even run right. <laughs> you even showed dents. Oh, it's got things in it. You know, I'm showing you what's wrong with it. I buy things that are clean. Low mile, that's 97,000 mile, 2000 Blazer S10. These things usually have 297,000 miles. We know they last. We know they got a good drive line in them. So with all that in mind, I get clean ones that people are gonna enjoy, tinker around on, fix up and such. Look at that rubber, seriously. They just put brand new rubber on this thing. I think someone stole what little fuel I had in here. I really do. Don't be giving me the evil little eye, buddy. <coughs> oh, Fort Courier. I usually won't take this somewhere for people. Well, any car. Just because of getting caught in traffic and different things right like this.
it actually does run really good, it just leaks. Yeah. Sweet. I knew I could get it before two hours. Jeez. Yeah. Don't know if he has ramps or a drop down or what. Take keys and hand them directly to the driver. And there's a reason for that. Where you don't lock things in. <laughs> oh, I found it so funny. People go and they put brand new tires on these things. Look at this. The guy put tires on it right before he traded it in. I was wondering where your ramps were. That's cool. That's easier than fucking lugging them around and shit, huh? Hold that. Let's see, I couldn't get much in between the cars, but you got scratches. Yeah, there's miscellaneous little scratches yeah. and shit. You know what's I, funny? Is when you, uh, I buy cars like this, it trips me out every time. When somebody goes and puts brand new tires on it before they trade it in. I mean, come on, that's five, six hundred bucks. It's the Dunlops. Right before, before they trade the them in. dealer had them. Wherever you know, and they just like some places they put them on it. Just some of them do, but you'd be like, "Well, you got five, six hundred dollars with tires." <laughs> Not when they run into the auction, though. I mean, they run into the auction like that is the people. Yeah. And it came from. Yeah, it came from the Kia dealer, new car trade in. But yeah, okay. So you got, I'm sure, a couple dings you found. Oh, these really. Yeah, it was in there pretty tight too. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh crap. Um, oh, no, I thought I handed it to you. Where's this going? Missouri. People haul some awful interesting stuff back and forth. Get you a free CD, huh? I better take it out, yeah. Right down the pen. I had a transporter get in a fight with me about it two months ago over a VIN number because it was a 73. And so they only have 11 or 12 digits or something. And he was getting the last four and his broker gave him the wrong last four. So they, oh God, they hit the fan. Was no, I've been, like I said, I've been here since two o'clock yesterday afternoon for us. Oh, you got here, you got here pretty early then, yeah. I told you, I was gonna notice. I told her I was gonna be here to pick up. We had a, I just got back. Dude, get your Dude thank you very much. Here, I was gonna open that for you too. <laughs> Take the screws. <laughs> there, take them, keep them. No, no, I'll leave them for the deal, for the guy. No, because usually they fall out. They're not in there snug. Yeah, I've got complaints on that before where my guys take the screws and they're like, hey, there's no screws for the plate! Yeah, you... Sure. No, this thing's mint! This is show quality, are you kidding me? Hey, so, I'll add these. Have you signed here? So, we're going to put yesterday's date because I was here, which would be the 17th. This probably won't take up too much time. Cool. Did, you, did we hire you or did they hire you? Do you know? You don't know? You're through a broker? You haul back here to back there a lot, or what? Uh, yeah. You got room for another one, or what? Well, we got, I got four more I got to go pick okay, up. Okay, just checking. One don't run. That's why he's on kind of push for time to get this one. Load this one, and then they'll get the one that don't run. Pick that one up and back up to my trailer and 
and put it on my trailer and I gotta push it the rest of the way. And then I gotta pick up another one. Couple and more. One. That just hauls four Hold straight five. back, five straight, and it just, is there any, is it like a Wally Mo to where one goes underneath? This one lifts. And then one goes, there two go underneath. Yep, one goes gotcha. underneath up front deck. And one on the this back. This one left, one goes in the belly, and one right here. There's a couple hydraulic rams on that trailer. <laughs> Cool, man. You don't have to touch nothing but a button to load, usually, it looks like, huh? No, I got a lot. I got almost some switches over there. I got to raise the check out. It's pretty cool. Yep. Okay, man. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you. There you go. Recap. How much does a new tire like this run nowadays? I have five. No, no guesstimate. Four hundred bucks. Yeah, man, you got some nice tires on this thing. I notice that kind of stuff because I buy a lot of them. Brand new steer tires. Yeah, and you got nice tires on it. Didn't just notice that. No, back with the recaps. These are brand new. Shit, I bet your recaps two, three hundred bucks nowadays. No, we had these on over a year. Bought it that way. Have a good day. Have a safe trip. Get another picture for Instagram. Nice truck. Okay, back to the place, which is right over there. <coughs> Please don't back it on. You can see my Valvoline trailer is there. Holy hell. Wee! <laughs> That'd be funny, huh? Uh, yeah, it would. No, it wouldn't. That's my client's car. I think sure looks good. Why do I say that? I just do. That looks good. Yes, sir. -y. I don't know if it's going to make it or going back all that way. He's a nice, safe guy. Seems like a good driver. I love it. You can hear Breeder. She's all the way over there. We couldn't preview it or um, inspect it because it was too tight. He's all, no, man, I'm a pretty big boy. I can't get it. I couldn't get in there to. <laughs> I expect it. And I thought, I was like, hell, I could hardly get in there to drive it out. So, look at this. This chasm, whatever, was three feet deep of water going down there just a little while back. People kind of leave their trailers anywhere over in this area. They just park them and leave them. Nobody seems to mess with them. We'll talk to Hector real quick. Probably a replacement motor. Oh man. That burned everything. Yeah, that burned that up pretty good. That burned it pretty good, huh? Yeah. So they have all the parts and everything. I just had to go to LA and I didn't 
bring it over or talk to you anymore. Um, can you still do that pretty quick sometime, the caddy? Uh, uh, tomorrow. Okay. Should I buy plugs too? Buy plug? Yeah, buy them and just if they don't need them, put it, don't put them in. Yeah, take it out one and if it looks okay, okay, I leave it right there and you can return it. Cool. Yeah, you just leave it with I'll me. make sure tomorrow, whether I'm here or not, if you don't see me or whatever, I'll make sure that that car is where the red car is and the keys will be under the seat. Okay. So, I mean, you can take it or whatever. Okay. Sounds good. What kind of motor is that? The burn up one. What did it come out of? Looks like an Altima or Sentra. Did you take that out or is it a replacement? No, replacement. They brought that? Yeah. So, it's a good motor, just had an engine fire. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. People will buy. If you know your stuff on them cars, you sure can get them fixed cheap. If you don't, well, <laughs> that could be a problem. I wouldn't attempt to buy a motor that had an engine fire and the whole top was melted, valve cover and all but he knows his stuff. I would trust him when he gets that. Okay, extra plate in here. You know, I walk off at nighttime sometimes and actually just leave my wallet in my thing. It's just not smart. Okay, I'm gonna leave this on right up to the breeder moment. She's gonna be so glad to see me truck is on you might be able to see it over there might not I hear you baby oh what 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 yeah. Well, that one's gone. I actually just seen a squirrel. Boom! <laughs> another one. And I'll bet you there's another one in here. He ain't gonna run. Look at this. Oh, I don't want to think about that. Holy hell, did that whole thing? Yeah, the whole fencing thing's moved. He just ran out of there, I heard him. They're all over, man. My high class gas canister here. I had a guy comment, don't call the stuff in your garage junk. Call it your test equipment for your cars. He's right, man. This is my test equipment for my cars. I'm actually looking for cores. Because I need cores. Cores line. No, not really. And I don't think I'm going to have any back here. I need actually a new... Oh, my Thunderbird tire. I mean, wheel. I think that right there is for my 6'9". I really do. Hey, it's a tall one. I bring that tall one out here. These actually all still work. Hey, more spray. Yeah. That's how my... No matter who I have help. That's how my, my high quality help. I don't want to think about it. I got enough paint back here to paint a couple buildings. I should tag my own stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool actually. Yeah. I think a brighter can. I don't think there's enough brick on this side. No. Damn. I don't have a, a business for people to stop into. 
Uh oh. Should be in this one. I don't think I'm gonna have enough cores for him. I'm not. I'm gonna have to get my cores light going on. may have now damn it I can never remember well usually can't remember to push it button I'm trying to get a how's it going I'm a couple batteries light for him. Huh? Uh, that's not good. That's not good. That's a quarter of them. Yeah, I've got to get in my trailer. Um. Oh, that one? This is the one. I got it before I went and I put it in my um, Escalade and I broke down. No, no, no problem. Sometimes they look good. No problem. The side post. Mercedes? Is that is this Mercedes? Yeah. Yeah? Bigger than Mercedes. You have any um deep cycles? Uh like a RV battery? No? Oh, there. Only Optima. <laughs> I see now. Yeah. Look at it. That's, I've never seen an Optima like that. Is it? Yeah, I didn't. I seen it, but I didn't notice this. Wow. The only thing wrong with it? Oh, they scraped it. That's why I got it. Who cares in their RV? I mean, it's not going to leak. It's not going to No. Well, you know. Dry cell or something, right? Yeah, Is that lithium or do you know? No, it's a uh, what you call it? Gel. Oh, it's yeah. gel battery yeah. type gel. Okay. Well, you wanna use that? You wanna use that or not? Well, you you want a pretty penny for that, huh? Well, what kind of car is the uh, other one going in? Okay, I need one for a Mercedes uh, S, like this kind, like there, the black one. Yeah, that, that's not going to fit on it? Nah, it's longer. This, this one. It looked a little long. Yeah, this one will Okay. Um, I need to make a call. Is this the same thing? It's no good though? Or is that's it good? good you don't have two of these? That's almost the same or no? It's a little smaller, yeah, huh? Sure, smaller. The one next to it. Okay, the side post there, that's good, right? You want to, you ask that you already got one or no? Oh, yeah, I could use something on that. What's the Escalade, that one? Yeah, of nice. That's brand new one. Okay, I'll take that, because I've got, I've got, you have me a couple of these. I've got one of these in my um, yeah, that Escalade. That, that, that. And I'd rather put that in it than the, yeah, that. Yeah, that won't give you no problem. Okay. That one, and that one. And then, um, how much do you want on that? <laughs> they're the hard ones. Every you find the right, pr they're gonna want that in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. This is on my this is on my trailer. I stay in my security trailer. I don't. Oops, nope. sorry. I don't care. Sorry. Yeah, that was a nice one. 
Okay, this one and the Mercedes one, and then let me look at what else I need too. Yeah, he, I get these for 30 bucks, and he refurbishes them, and they're great batteries. I can't believe I had a problem with this red Optima. What I think it is, is I use the hell out of them. I'll use them as a jump battery. I keep these handles when I can too. Okay. Ugh. Is yellow better than red? Try to charge it. I try to charge it, and my charger says function 08. Yeah. Okay. So, well, I had a different question on this one. I use this one for like, eh. Move it around? By, yeah, for about four or five months. And then all of a sudden, it looks like that on that end, and it blew it up. Yeah. You can see the top. Can you fix that or no? It's done. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to ask because if maybe I'd pay you to fix it if you did. I don't know if you nah, dry cell, little... dry cells, I don't know. Yeah, like, I've never dealt with them. Return, return it over there. Uh, you need a top pole, regular top pole combo, or? Um, let me make a call real quick. I'm going to grab you another core. I'll be right back and I'll know which one I need. Okay. So my yellow top is no good. Now the sun, he said they could fix them. So I don't know if they can and they'd rather just have my core than to charge me to fix them, or if they really can't fix them. See, look, I got another one. You get the red tops like that, you just hate to give them up, especially when they're a dual post red top. These things are useless, but I like these. And if you take these off, Put them on top of one of these. You got the best charge battery ever. I have to keep my battery cores in my trailer or else people come steal them. Yeah. Right out of the cars even. Is that going to be a quarter of yellow one too or no? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, I think he likes getting the yellow cords from me. And this should get me four batteries. One, two. Swap that red top. And then one more. I don't know what kind. Get an Optima for the red one, or what do you want to do? Um, that, that one's good for Mercedes there. That, that, that one next to it. What's a good one for on a top post? Fit in a lot of things, and I could do a jumper battery out of it. Did you need a heavy duty band? Like the one in the back? Nah, it's Volkswagen. Volkswagen? Really? That's a big old battery. Right. This is Volkswagen. This one right here. That, that's a good one? Yeah. I'll put this in the back for you. Okay, yeah. If you say that's, you know your stuff, man. So, this one's good. Yeah, let me just mark it. Mark Did you mark the other one? The one I took in? Yeah. The side post? The AC Delco? Oh, no, I didn't mark that one. We know that one. That, 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 if they're really nice, they're easy for you to remember, probably, huh? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> okay. I think it is marked though. 
Yeah. And then what do I do on this one? How much you pay for that? 40, 50, or 40, no? 40 or 45, I don't remember. Do you, do, do you want to keep this one? Take that one for that one? No, 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 I like that. For that one? No. Yeah? No, we can I gotta go see if it's in the good still. Okay. But, uh, you want this one for your one home? We make a deal. Pay 45 for this one, right? 40, 40, 45. Something like that. I don't know. You, you usually do me something in there. Give me 35 more. Give me that one. You'll be set for a while for your one home. That's a nice battery, dude. I know that. You can look it up and... Um... I'm gonna wait on my big cup. When you have another one in, I'll take a regular one. Those, those one last one. A regular one. Regular. If you ever get a regular one, I'll take a regular one sometime. One too? That's too nice for me. What? That's too nice for me. Because that's just too nice for me. For your motorhome, huh? It's... It's too nice for me. This one here has two in it. I'm gonna swap one out and use it. Okay. <laughs> I know it's nice, especially for my thing. That would be nice. I'm cheap. I can't spend that kind of money on stuff. Okay, so you're going to take that one and I'll uh -huh. replace this with this one. Okay, and then I have two more you gave me, right? I, I took one and you took one. The Mercedes and the AC Delco. Okay, so you don't want this one then? This so I have three. This would be three and then that's four. Yeah, two be four in there. You got it. Okay. One, two, three. You're going to buy three and one replacement. Okay, that sounds good. Oh, I have a connector on it. That's what I have. This should be 90 bucks. I would like to get that other one. That's a nice battery. <laughs> yeah, I need the kind where it has both. Well, you could use that as a jump rod. Well, that's an interesting thought. On the, um, on the, on those kind, at some point, I need one that has both. It has the, mine, they have the round peg and then they have a little thing and the stud. They have both. Hey. Popular guy here. When a battery guy comes to town. Do you redo these? Nah. No. No? Really? Yeah, they look about 10 years old. You really use them till you kill them, huh? Oh, yeah. And I get a lot of stuff that's been sitting that sits beside the house for 10 years or something. Yeah. But like I say, most of the time the, the bums steal them for me. I don't even have them for you. Yeah. Plus money, too. No joke. <laughs> The 18th, huh? It's crazy. You're going by quick. It's almost a quarter over. That's a lot. It's crazy. I can't believe time flies. Are, are you selling a lot of cars still? Getting rid of them? Oh, uh, yeah. I only got, I'm down to about 118. Wow. But two, two, about a year and a half ago, though, I had 290. And I still buy and sell four or eight new ones every month. So I got to sell new ones too. Yeah. But when you sell them, that's good. That's good. Well, have fun. Stay out yeah. of trouble. Next time, maybe you buy the yellow one. <laughs> that's a nice. I need one with both. You know what I mean? It has the regular stud, and then it's like a big thing. It has. I, a... I got rid of two yesterday. Got those uh, two tops. I have. That, that. You know how much I got premium for each one? How much? Wow. Hey Hector, did you need batteries? I didn't even know. Yeah, I I for uh, F-150, but you, you don't have it anyway. Oh, okay. Do you want this one? Yes, I have three. Do you have the battery? Yes, I have the battery. Do you have the battery? Yes, I have the battery. You got everything. Which one is for an F-150? Same as the Volkswagen. No, this, no, that was a Volkswagen. I think oh, got you. That's what you thought I meant. Gotcha. I thought that's big for a Volkswagen. Huh. Okay, have fun. We'll see you. I am actually happy that my neighbor mechanic 
is buying batteries for my battery guy. I like introducing people like that and having it work out for them. Okay, one on a car guy .com battery guy visits. This thing is done. Look at the cat slid down it. Boom, 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 boom. Or up it. Breeder's gonna be out. I'll make it go. I always leave the video go right to her because she's so damn cute. She's over here crying. What are you doing? You can't see me? There's a big girl. I had this guy that I did business with for a long time, and he was a friend. He became a friend over eight years or so. And his bitty wife never did like me. She asked me one time, Don't you trust anybody? Because I had her sign to pick up the truck before she picked up the truck. I wanted her to sign a paper that she picked it up. Yeah, I trust me. Sign a paper, lady. Why now, why did I think of that? I don't know. Are you ready to go in? You sure are, huh? You do pick a big old pooper. I need to clean up out of here again. Arf, 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 arf. Hello. Yes, hello. Uh, you the car dealer? What can I do for you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, I just uh, I'm looking for a Chrysler Sebring convertible. I don't got nothing like that anymore. I've had quite a few, but I don't got nothing like that right now. Oh, well, you're not. Yeah, I saw your ad on television or on the computer there on, <laughs> on YouTube. Yeah, I do quite yeah. a few of them. If you're when you get to where you know that's what you want for sure, whatever, I do find them, and I could be your buyer's agent at auction, and I'll get it for you at dealer wholesale, and I can save you a hell of a lot on one of them for sure. Well, what are they, local cars or California or what? What I get, what I get is I'm I'm from Montana, and what I do is I go down to San Diego, L.A., and Las Vegas for about a month, two months at a time, and buy. So I'll look at I'll look at twenty twenty five thousand cars a week and go to the auctions that have the ones I'm looking for, and you're gonna get like mostly new car trade ins on that kind of a thing. Like what year? Like early two thousand two, two thousand something like that. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I don't know what the price is. What's the price range on that stuff? You know, it it all comes down to those where they have such a notoriously bad motor, and they always have engine problems, um, and they go pretty cheap, but you get a nice, low mile, super clean one owner one that you just know somebody's maintained, they get up there a bit. I know for a fact, for like a 90, I think it's like 98 to 02, something in that first earlier year right there, I know going through auction, I know I can get you one for under three grand. Um, and I'm talking something with between you know, 50 to 100,000 miles or so. Um, something like that should go through for two to three grand somewhere, and I'm talking clean. But they do come through a lot cheaper, but you know, I don't go over a hundred and a quarter on miles. Um, are you talking cars that need an engine now at that price? No, 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 no. I'm talking, at that price, what I do is I go to auction and I buy them and I usually I usually buy what I like and put them on my site. And if I come across the low mile something, I'll do that. But no, what I'm talking is that's something that I would buy at auction for two to three grand. I would detail it out, maybe fix a window switch or something stupid that was wrong with it. And I would put that on my website and on eBay for $79.99 or uh, $69.99 or best offer. And I'd end up selling it for five to six grand somewhere, I'm sure. What I would do, I would I would buy it for you. I would be your buyer at auction, and I would buy it for you at the two to three thousand, and I would charge a five hundred dollar fee to get you the car at wholesale. That's what I do. That's what I could do for you. Okay, in other words, I wouldn't have a chance to look at it and decide. Nope, I, I would do all your previewing for you. I would try it out. I'd find, for instance, I'd find a 75,000 mile car, and I would call, I would call you up, tell you what I got, and send you like a one minute video on it, and I would test it out before auction, and then I would get you your car if you're interested, or you just email me back and say, no, that's not the color I want, or something to that effect, whatever. <laughs>
So, yeah. just well, you know, that, that's kind of tempting. But well, let me know if you happen to want a low mile, nice, clean one. That's exactly what I do. Is I find out, I, I search out early. It's not a classic yet, but a low mile one really is. You just can't. They're getting hard to find in a low mile car like that. Well, I'm not. I don't expect to get low miles, but I, I do expect to get something that I can use for a couple of years. I would get the lowest mile you can on those because those motors are, they just always develop problems and I, I, I plan on it. They're neat cars, but they are kind of problematic on the motor. So stay as low mile as you can on them. Oh, I see. Okay. In fact, if you if you Google the motor, you'll, you'll see all kinds of nightmares online. I've, in fact, the last, one I, the last one I sold had a knocking rod and I sold it really cheap, but so yeah, sounds good. If you get ready, I'll save you thousands, guaranteed. Uh, well, yeah. when are you on your next trip out? I go, I go out every next week. I'll be out uh, Monday through Friday at auction. Oh, okay. Uh, so every week. But the, the, the auction is in the state. The auctions that I go to, I go to the ones in Los Angeles, Anaheim, Riverside, and San Diego. Oh, okay. And then you ship the car back. Yes, sir. And or, or wherever, you know, I, I take them back to Montana, or I've got a lot in San Diego. I've got three storage lots. So I can do it. I can ship it right from the auction. You could fly in and pick. Where are you located at? <laughs> Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I sell. See, and that's the other thing. Montana, Wisconsin, Michigan. I sell a lot of cars up to that salt belt where we all get rotted out. I don't have no nice 98 or 2000 Sebrings in Montana. I mean, they just don't exist. They're all rusted out. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, cool. Let, let me know. I'll save you a bunch of money on them. I do, I do that a lot. Okay. I'll be uh, in touch. I got your number here. Okay. I guess it doesn't pay to watch the videos on the computer. They're all, uh, uh, they're obsolete. You know, just, just when you're looking at the videos on different channels, just right below the video, right below where it's playing, you can always see a date there, and it'll show a date. Like, if you're looking at the gold one, I probably made the video almost two years ago now. Yeah, some of them, uh, I didn't notice dates. There's no prices either, it irritates me. No, all the prices on my stuff go to eBay. When I put them on eBay, they'll have a price, but... Yeah, let me know. A lot, of, a lot of problems with the engines, huh? That that is one of the uh, the highest problem engines around. If you're buying one, make sure and have somebody that I buy and sell a lot of stuff like that, and I know what to look for on them, and I'll find you a clean one. But I mean, even though it's an as is old used car, and down the road a year you could have a problem, and it's not into the world problems. If you look online, I, I'm not sure that one's usually got a knocking rod in it. And people usually get a junkyard motor for three, four hundred bucks and have somebody remove and replace it. I mean, you can buy a, a motor form for three hundred to nine hundred bucks, depending on what you find there. And most people just yeah. put another motor in and get more years out of it. But <laughs> good luck, good luck with it. If you get ready to do something, let me know. I'm always around. Okay. Well, thank you for talking to me, sir. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Have a great day, sir. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. That's a deal where I could have sold the guy a convertible Mustang or something, maybe. <sighs> Don't have anything like that right now. I just sold my convertible Mustang last month. Get another one. That, that And that's the thing where, like, you come across some six-cylinder Mustangs. No, who would want that? Well, you know what? Who would want that would be the guy who wants a Sebring. I was wishing I had, like, a 94 to 99, like, super clean, even 93 to 02, basically, super clean convertible Camaro or Firebird. That would have been perfect for the guy. Especially, probably, a Firebird. I like that. Even in a six-cylinder model, it does not matter. That's not what the... That's not what the whole dealio is. You know what? That's gonna be way cooler over there, I think. I got Breeder with me. I don't think that doggy was there when we came. Hi, doggy! He knows what a doggy is. Hi, doggy. Fuck, you're gonna jump out of there at us. Hi, doggy dog. Why are you looking at me like that? 
that a Tesla? I think so. Oh, that's a Fisker. Wow. Oh, yeah. 